you guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do an update on my pregnancy. So this is going to be weeks um, six, 16 and 17, I believe. I'm 18 weeks now, which is crazy. I'm basically halfway there because with my type of pregnancy, they said that most likely the goal is to deliver between 36 and 37 weeks. So it's very strange to see that it's halfway there already. So. Uh, today's video, I have some really cute things that I bought. I haven't purchased anything yet, so I finally got a couple things. Now that we know the genders, um, I'll talk about the gender reveal, which was one of the biggest things that happened over these past two weeks. And I had two really great doctor's visits with two different doctors, so I'll talk about that as well. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's update, and let's get started. So I'll start with the gender reveal because that's just the thing on my mind right now. If you guys haven't seen the video yet, I will link it down below and I'll put a little box right here that you can click if you want to go watch it first. I just love watching it. I think when you're, when you're surprised in a moment in time and you're just like overly, I don't know, when there's a lot going on, you don't you don't remember it as much. So I'm really glad that we filmed it so that I could look back on it and see like what it actually looked like because it was just so, so crazy and exciting. For those of you guys who've already seen it, we are having girls. And it was the biggest surprise ever. Besides being surprised that we were having twins, this was definitely way up there because I was so, I don't know why, but I was just so, sure that we are having boys and I'm kind of thinking now it's because I have three brothers so I was just raised with you know boys around me and um, most of my cousins are boys so I think I'm just used to being around them more and it just uh, I don't know it just made sense that I would have boys because I, I don't have a sister I've never really known anything other than obviously my life. Um, so it's just kind of crazy to think that right off the bat our daughters will have a sister right away which is so neat. It's just going to be something that I get to kind of experience through them and I'll just get to see like a whole new side of things. So um, it's just, I, I just can't believe it. I was so surprised when I opened the boxes I was sure that they were blue and when I saw pink I was just like what no way I it's just crazy so yes we are having girls and I'm so excited I started looking at um I started adding stuff to our registry and stuff that was kind of you know I had to know the gender before I could register for some things and let me just say, the girl stuff is so much cuter. I hadn't even looked at many girl things, like I wasn't even looking at girl nurseries or girl clothes, and it's just been really fun because everything is so cute, and I love pink. Pink's my favorite color. So that's been really fun, so I've been kind of figuring out like what I wanna do for the nursery now, and trying to just kind of get that going because um, once I'm further along, I know that's gonna be the last thing I wanna do, so trying to we're gonna figure out paint and do we're gonna do like Wayne's coating on the bottom of the room and just kind of get the basics done and then we can start um, getting like cribs and stuff like that so super exciting um, thank you guys all for the nice comments on that video it was just a special special day we had our friends our close friends and family members there and it was just really really exciting so I think Andrew's taking a couple days to absorb the information. <laughs> he was so sure it was boys too, but he's gonna be the best dad. He is so good with our nieces, so it's gonna be good. As far as names go, because that has been the next question that I get asked a lot. Uh, so like right after we found out it was girls, like everybody just wants to know what are you guys gonna name them? And I'm learning something with um, being pregnant is like people ask the same things at different stages. So I just get really used to like knowing what to say and knowing what people are gonna ask. And especially with twins, it's like, it's it's crazy. So it's, it's a lot, so I'll kind of get into that later. We, so when we thought it was boys, we had names kind of set and it was kind of, 
not a big deal. We knew what names we liked and they weren't very, they weren't crazy trendy or anything. They were just the names we liked. Um, but for girls, I had a long list of girl names that I liked. So I knew if they were girls, it was going to be harder to come up with names, especially names that kind of go together, not like rhyme, but just go together. And then the other thing that I thought was going to be a little difficult was agreeing on names with Andrew because we have very different tastes in names. I like kind of old fashioned names. He likes 90s, 80s girl names. So I knew it was going to be a challenge. So basically I just kind of, I had been telling him names that I liked all along and so he knew those names in his head. And I wanted to, like right after I wanted to like, what are we gonna name them? Because I want to have something to call them. And he just, he, he, we weren't agreeing on anything and it was making me really frustrated. And then I was getting so many people who were like, what are you gonna name them? And I just didn't know. And so um, a couple days later, Andrew came to me at night and was like, let's talk about names. And it made me really happy. So we decided on two names and we decided to also keep them a secret until they're born. So I, I'm sorry <laughs> that you have to wait, but it was just getting to the point where it was getting kind of overwhelming <laughs> because everybody has an opinion on names that they like. And the thing with the boy names that we had, they were very like, I don't know, I guess like boy names are just kind of normal and so people didn't really like care. But with girl names, everybody seems to have such a strong opinion and everybody knows somebody who's named something. And so I didn't want to have names that I love and to say them and to have somebody say, oh, I know somebody who I don't like. Because in my head, I'm like, well, that's what their name's gonna be, so you're gonna have to get over it. So I just didn't wanna have to deal with that. I don't wanna have to deal with that now. So we just told everybody we are, we'll let you know when they're born and that's their names, that'll be it because I just couldn't deal with any more of this. It's just too much. Before we talk about the doctor's visit, I wanna show you guys the little clothes that I got because they're so cute and we're talking about girl things. And then we'll talk about health stuff because I went to two doctor's appointments. I went to my specialist, which was awesome. And we talked about a lot of like crucial things I needed to be doing. Uh, and then I went to my general doctor and so I'll just tell you kind of what they recommended me to do and I feel a lot better now. Um, so today I actually went to the mall and I dropped my mom off at the airport and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the mall. So let me show you a couple things that I got. I went to Nordstrom and I realized I can get a lot of sale stuff right now because why not? So everything I got was like half off and yeah, I was pretty excited. It was so weird though. It was so strange shopping like for my kids. And it was just so weird. I don't even know how to explain it. So I got these two onesies from, they're by Nordstrom Baby. I mean, how cute. <laughs> so they're like the, they snap all the way down and they're just so soft. They're just made of cotton. And I got them, these are three months. So this one I thought was so cute. I love this little, like, I'm really into this kind of coral, corally pink shade for the nursery. I think like the rug I want is kind of like a corally pink. So I think I'm gonna do kind of pinks like that, not like a bubblegum pink. And then here's the other one, which is just like these little flowers and then they have the feet on there. So I thought those were really sweet. Got those and then I went to uh, Baby Gap and I got these little bloomers. Those were on sale for $10. I was pretty excited. These were on sale for $7.99, they're three to six months. So they're just these little tiny bloomers. <laughs> Are they not the cutest things ever? Oh my gosh. It was really fun to shop for these things. I don't wanna buy anything that's like super trendy. I'm not into like having a ton of words on the shirts. I just wanna dress them cute, like things that I like. And, um, oh, one of my friends was telling me not to buy clothes for them until they're like three to six months because they're going to be in like onesies and diapers and naked most of the time when they're newborns. So everything I registered for like cute clothes, I did older. And then I got these, these are in three to six months. They're so cute. Look at this dress, oh my gosh. I'm a really big fan of denim. So here are these. So I figured um, three to six months, I mean, that's gonna be like March, 
marching on. Depending, I'm guessing they're going to be a little bit smaller since they're twins. So I figured March and a couple months after that, this will work. And then they have these little um, bloomers underneath. I just thought those were so adorable. I need to get some little hangers that I can hang these on. So that's what I bought. Didn't spend that much money. It was pretty happy. And Andrew was happy too. Andrew thought they were really cute. Okay, so let's talk about doctor stuff. So I went to my normal doctor, my doctor that's going to be delivering me, and we just went over everything. He went over my ultrasound, he went over um, my blood work, and just kind of laid out everything that I need to be doing. It was just, it was good. They were saying that the babies were on track still. They're still about a week, um, measuring a week early, which is good. But they're not going to change my due date because unless it's like two weeks before, then they said it's fine. So we just talked about kind of like general things, exercise, diet, I need to up my protein, I need to up my calcium, kind of, excuse me, I have so many like random burps and weird things going on right now. Uh, kind of the same thing that my perinatal doctor talked about. So let's talk about that right now because I feel like the perinatal doctor kind of talked about everything and it was way in depth and it was just awesome. So I went to him, which is now my place I'm going to get all of my ultrasounds done, which is a little bit of a bummer because it's an hour away from us, but that's just where the closest one was that our insurance pays for. But honestly, the doctor was so amazing that I don't even care. I'm I, I'm excited to look, keep, start going to him all the time because he was just really, really good. The crazy thing is I have to go every two weeks. And I didn't think I'd have to go every two weeks for a while, but he was like, no, we need to start start monitoring the growth now. So every two weeks. But um, I had another ultrasound, so I had like two ultrasounds back to back, which is crazy. And they just measured everything. It was kind of like an anatomy scan, I think, for just a singleton. And that's basically what they're going to do every single ultrasound that I get. So every two weeks I have a I have an hour-long ultrasound super long and they measure everything. They check the stomach, the brain, the kidneys, just everything. Super, super in depth. During the ultrasound, it was so crazy though. This baby was pedaling her feet a bunch. And then this one over here was just opening her mouth a bunch of times. This one seems to, on the left, seems to be like the calm one. I swear she's always like peacefully laying there. And the one on the right is the one they can never get pictures of because she's moving a ton. So it's funny because we have our two names and we were like thinking of which one are we going to name which? And Andrew's like, I feel like that one would be the active one. So that's what we did. And everything was good. Everything was on track. And then we talked about diet. So he wants me to have a lot more protein. So he was saying to have a protein shake every single day just so I'm getting that protein no matter what. So he recommended the muscle milk protein, which is actually what we have. It's free of any additives and it has just a ton of protein. So it's perfect. I had the vanilla one and I just went to Costco, got another giant thing of chocolate. And what I've been doing is typically I'll add in milk or almond milk with almond butter, cashew butter, and frozen banana. And the other thing he said is to up my calcium. So I'm taking a calcium tablet every day at lunchtime because you don't want to take it with your prenatals because it will bind with them. So I've been taking a cal, I think it's 1400. It's like the big calcium one. I'll link it down below. We got it from Vitacost. Been taking that in the middle of the day. And then he also said to double my prenatals, which I thought was crazy. So, but like so good to hear. So I couldn't double them completely because of the level of vitamin A in my vitamins. So I'm taking five a day. So three in the morning and two at night. So it's a lot of vitamins, but it's fine. I'm just powering through them. And they actually make me feel better, believe it or not. They have a ginger root in them and they have some other things that are supposed to help with your um, sickness. So I don't mind taking them. They smell, so I take them with fruit juice, but once I take them, I feel really good. Exercise. He was saying that I can start exercising a little bit now because I am gaining weight. I've gained like 11 pounds, which is good. And he said I can go on the elliptical, which I haven't yet. Uh, walks. He said don't run, don't lift free weights because of balance. But he said I could do some machines. I can do yoga just depending on the yoga. Like for those, like for yoga and Pilates, make sure it's kind of a prenatal workout. 
But um, yeah, he was like, you can still be active. Don't think that you need to be on bed rest right now. I want you to still kind of keep your, you know, activity up. So I, I just kind of listen to my body. And if I'm cleaning the house all day long and, you know, I have errands to run, like that is a lot to me. That Usually that wouldn't be like a workout to me, but now it does feel like uh, a lot of cardio. So I just listen to my body and if I am doing too much then I will start to get a little bit cramping, like a little bit of cramping around my uterus and I just try to take it easy and just kind of rest. Like right now, since I've been like talking so much, it's like my stomach feels like really tight. The other thing that we talked about at the appointment was the ultrasound, Who the lady who was doing the ultrasound wanted to make sure that they are in fact monochorionic twins, which means they share a placenta, they're in two sacs, they share a placenta, and that is the case. So um, just to make sure that, like they just double checked everything, and their umbilical cords are inserted at a really good position, they're in the center of my placenta, which means that they, it's better because if one was more towards the right or the left, then it could be getting less nutrients, but they still have to monitor them, the growth of the babies, to make sure to they're not gonna have twin-to-twin -twin transfusion, which is when one's growing faster than the other. But the nice thing was, before I was hearing all these risks and hearing how high risk my pregnancy is, but I wasn't getting any, um, nobody was telling me, well, it's a fine, if this happens, we can treat it. And this doctor was saying, you know, He's like, I'm confident that it's not going to get to that point, but if it does, I'll send you to the specialist at USC. He's great. He will take you in for the procedure, and basically it's kind of like you laser your placenta in half so that both babies get their own source of nutrients. But it was just nice to know that he was just confident that we're going to have a successful pregnancy. If something happens, though, we will know how to treat it, and we'll know early on because you're coming every two weeks. So that was good. The other thing is he said my due date, well my due date's the same, which is January 12th, but he said I will most likely deliver uh, 36 to 37 weeks, which is I think I wrote down. I think it's December 15th through the 22nd. So it's basically like the week before Christmas, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe it's right before Christmas. He was just kind of warning me saying, and just so you know, you're going to be very uncomfortable from here on out it's going to be really, really hard on your body, which I've heard a lot. So I started to feel back aches uh, at night or when I wake up. So I got that giant pillow that goes around and I thought it was going to keep me from rolling onto my back because I'm a back sleeper, but it hasn't. I still end up on my back and I wake up with the worst back ache. So I'm guessing when my stomach gets bigger that I will not have the urge to roll on my back and I don't think it'll feel good so, but right now I always end up on my back. So I've been waking up really early because I'm just up and just wanna be awake and don't want my back to hurt anymore. And I still am going to the bathroom very frequently, like three times a night at least. I'm just kind of thinking it's preparing my body to wake up when the babies get here. Um, other than that, I have been getting headaches pretty much every single day around four o'clock. Really, really, really bad headaches and um, heartburn, like after I eat, kind of midday and on, more t more so at night, which is just an uncomfortable feeling. So if you guys have any tips on heartburn, let me know in the comments. My nausea has gone down a little bit, so I don't feel as sick at night. I can stay up later and I can eat a little bit later, but I get that really bad headache, so it's kind of like I still feel crummy at night, but it's definitely not as bad, so that's good. And also my feet have started to hurt a lot more. Like if I'm standing for a while, I noticed that my feet just really, really hurt. As far as movement goes, they said I should start feeling something soon, but my placenta is anterior, so it's like right by my stomach, by my belly button, so they said it'll be harder to feel movement, but I feel like pops every now and then, which I know could be a sign of movement. I think I felt a flutter, I don't know, like there's a lot that I feel sometimes, but I don't know if it's babies, I don't know if it's gas, or just my stomach, I don't know. But I do feel some things going on. So I'm thinking I'm feeling a little bit. So more so this week that I started to feel that. I still don't have my appetite back, but I can eat more of a variety of foods during the day. I can cook a little bit more, which is great. 
and I can eat a dinner. I just eat like around five. So that has been better. Okay, I threw on some shorts because I am wearing a dress today. So here is my stomach. It is growing a lot recently. I feel like now everybody can tell <laughs> that I'm pregnant. I'm getting that little line that goes down your stomach and then my belly button is just sticking out so, so much. But it feels so tight, like it's just like really hard. So one of the babies is breech. So this one, it, um, her head's right around here and she's this way. And the other one's head's down here, which is at right, like this, right here. So they're right there. So that is belly. It definitely hurts like towards the end of the day. It just feels like really hard. But yep, that is it. I feel like I just said so, so much and I am so out of breath and so <laughs> thirsty. But I think that's it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this update and that is it. So I will talk to you guys soon, bye. Okay, next section we have some meatballs. These are, let's see, Italian style beef. I got these because my mom just got them for our gender reveal and they were so good. 